everyone welcome to my trip to berlin so i would begin by showing you the hotel that i slept in i actually loved the first impression in berlin i loved the city although i'm not sure if i would like to live there i am now heading to brandenburger tour and this is a gate which is the most famous landmark in berlin and the german national symbol it is connected to many historical events in the 19th and 20th century. Since the 1990, the Brandenburger Gate has been seen as a symbol of overcoming division in Germany and Europe. I came across this beautiful underground train station known as Museums Insel, directly translated as Museum Island in English. So this underground train station is uh, in the district of Berlin. It's a part of the extension of the U5 subway line from Alexandra Platz to the Brandenburger Tor. This station really fascinated me. I think it's beautiful. What do you think? And it's actually a recent underground station which was built just the other day. I mean, uh, the construction began in 2010 and the station began operating in the, on the 9th of July in 2021. We are now in the commemorative courtyard of the German Resistance Memorial Center, which is popularly known as Gedenkstätte. From the early 1940s, Friedrich Olbricht, the chief general commander of the army office, attempted to coup against Hitler in consultation with Ludwig Beck. And so they tried to kill Hitler with a bomb, which did not work. And that is why Ludwig Beck ended up getting shot here and he was shot dead. To coup actually means it is an instan instance of achieving something difficult. I also got the opportunity to go to Bundestag. This is Germany's parliament. We are now heading inside Germany's parliament. Come with me. In Germany's parliament, there is an eagle, which you can see right before. And it's a symbol of freedom. Imagine, it weighs about 2.5 tons. It's very heavy, right? Yeah. And by the way, just outside Germany's parliament, at the top of the building, there is a wonderful view, which you can see right now. Germany tries its level best to save resources like electricity. The dome-shaped mirror, you can see, just now, it's a tower. Indeed, it's a high tower. It's an attraction which is used to save electricity 
in Bundestag. They actually don't use lighting in the parliament and the mirrors are reflecting light into the parliament. Und gleich dahinter schließe ich dann das holländische Viertel an, das ich dann umrunden. Ja. 
das größte holländische Viertel außerhalb von Amsterdam. Und ähm, ja, das ist also schon Ende 17. Jahrhundert begonnen worden. Damals wollte man einfach Kunsthandwerker und Handwerker hierher holen, weil man wollte Potsdam aufbauen. Und die Niederländer galten damals als äh, sehr fortschrittlich. Germany from DDR and here there you go The construction of the Berlin Wall and its consequences for the residents of the divided city were especially dramatic here. The history of this street just shows how the Berlin Wall impacted the city and the people who lived there. Actually, the painters commented on the politi political changes in the years 1989 and 1990. After this wall was built, it destroyed the urban space, human lives, and separated family and friends. The history of this wall documents how people attempted to escape dictatorship by fleeing to the West. Actually, when the walls were built, the residents from the east of Berlin's side of the street made a spontaneous decision to flee away. They were fleeing away from dictatorship and lack of freedom. The public rebelled against the barrier with pro protests and resistance. At the end, the division came to a peaceful end on the night of the 10th of November, 1989, where the first segments of the wall were knocked down. It has come to the end of my stay in Berlin. I hope you have enjoyed watching the videos. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, share with your family and friends, and write me a comment. Until next time. Bye.